is day two of the Pac-12 Women's Basketball Tournament and the stage is set for Arizona State to play their first game of the tournament, the quarterfinals against Washington State. Here are the highlights from the game. Let's get started in Seattle. Both Charlie Turner Thorne and June Doherty said they were prepped for this matchup. Shot by Cooks, gets rebounded by Kelsey Moose, but in a fight for the ball, Leah Galdera goes down with an apparent knee injury. She'll come back later in the game. Now promising Mukamara doing what she does best, a fast break that leads to the easy bucket. 19 to 16 ASU at halftime. As we head into the second half, Pisa Mukamara loses control of the ball as Tia Presley steals and takes it to the house. Soon after, Tia Presley goes down wrong on her ankle and has to be brought out for a few minutes. With the amount of pain seen on Presley's face, it is impressive that she made it back onto the court. Bruner looking for an open shot, and she gets it. Bruner led ASU with 14 points on the day. And after a fairly unproductive offensive day, Davis hits a three, and it fires up the ASU bench. Davis takes the ball down the court. Tosses it to Moose with the bucket. Coach Charlie Turner Thorne responds to the win over the Cougars. Thank you. Um, well, wow, it's just nice to stay here more than a day. Uh, we, we, haven't, we haven't built much history at this tournament in Seattle yet. So, um, very proud of our team. We've been a little slow starting uh, lately, offensively, and then we've been able to get it going in the second half uh, this last week or so. So I thought we did a great job in the second half just settling down, taking care of the ball, and kind of doing what we can do. Um, thought it was great atmosphere, getting the kids in here. You know, just thank you to the Pac-12 conference and everybody here at Key Arena because, uh, you know, we're, we haven't really found a great home and I thought, you know, this is, this is a good start to the tournament, um, even though all the kids had Cooper sons. We're gonna work on that for next year. The Arizona State Sun Devils will continue on in the tournament and play the winner of the Stanford UCLA game that's later today. It could be a chance for ASU to completely sweep the series against Stanford and get their third win of the season. If you want continued coverage of the tournament, make sure to check out CronkiteSports.com. For Walter Cronkite Sports Network, I'm Elaine Wilson.